Welcome to Aspero Fixed Income Academy, where we simplify financial concepts for retail investors like you. Today we'll demystify coupon rate and yield to maturity to help you grasp their significance in bond investing. Let's start with coupon rate. Imagine you're lending money to a company or the government by purchasing a bond. The coupon rate is the interest rate per annum on the bond's face value that the issuer promises to pay you back periodically. For example, if you invest rupees 10,000 in a bond with an 8% coupon rate, you will receive 800 rupees as interest income annually until the bond matures. Now let's dive into yield to maturity or YTM. YTM goes beyond just the coupon rate and encompasses the total return you can expect from a bond if you hold it till maturity. YTM factors in coupon payments and any potential capital gains or losses arising from changes in the bond's market value over time. The key difference lies in their focus. Coupon rate solely represents the annual interest income, while YTM provides a more comprehensive understanding of the bond's overall return for the given tenure. Importantly, YTM considers the bond's current market price, which can fluctuate due to interest rate changes and market conditions. Suppose you purchase a bond at a discount, which means its market price is below the face value. In this case, the YTM will be higher than the coupon rate because you will receive the full face value at maturity even though you paid less at the time of purchase. Conversely, if you buy a bond at a premium where the bond price is above its face value, the YTM will be lower than the coupon rate because the total yield you will receive will be a factor of the bond price at the time of purchase which is higher than the face value, assuming that there is no redemption premium. Let's illustrate this with the same example. Let's say you bought the bond at a discounted price of Rs 9000, lower than the face value. Now at maturity, you will receive the bond's full face value of Rs 10,000, resulting in a capital gain of Rs 1000. Assuming that the bond matures in one year, your total gain would be Rs 1800 and hence your YTM would be 18%. This capital gain is an additional benefit on top of the annual interest payments you'll receive. It affects the YTM and contributes to your total return. When evaluating a bond, it's essential to consider both the coupon rate and the YTM to assess its attractiveness as an investment. Higher coupon rates generally provide higher regular income, but they may also indicate higher risk or lower credit quality of the issuer. It's important to look at the YTM to understand the bond's total return potential, considering any changes in the bond's market price.